friends and family. Welcome to Thanks Formed. I am your host, Francisca Aguayo. I'm here to give you a cup of positivity with a side of possibilities and always, always expecting a breakthrough. Come on in. I'm excited to be with you all today. Grab your favorite beverage, your pen and pad, because we're going to drop some nuggets as usual. And today we're going to talk about gift, a gift that's already inside of us and how we're going to discover that gift so that we can be able to impact the world. Yes, yes. The first time you're watching us live, please put a one in the comment. We want to acknowledge you where you're from. If you catch us on the replay, you're still getting blessed. So please hashtag replay and let me know where you're coming from. And of course, if you find value in this video, please don't be stingy. Like it, share it, tag someone that you know needs it or deserves to be able to um, get some of this blessing here. So I just been so blessed with so much that I have to share. And that's what Thanks Formed is really all about. And the Thanks Formed um, I created comes from the acronym THANKS. And that's to talk about our thoughts, our habits, our actions, our nutrition, our knowledge, and our spirituality. And today, you know, we're talking about our habits, but there are different kind of habits that we we need in our lives to be able to fulfill what we came here to do. So a lot of us focus, and especially in this time of the year, on habits, on how to lose weight, how to become more healthy, how to have better wellness habits. But I want to talk to you about a habit that has really helped me in my whole transformation. And this habit is how I discovered the gift that was inside of me that now I am using to be able to impact the world. And the habit that I created was to really speak life into myself. The habit that I created was to not focus on what the world said I was, what my circumstances said I was, what my my bank account said I was, what my past and my trauma said I was. That was the habit that I always had, right? It was a habit of reliving the past and beating myself up and, you know, talking, having disempowering conversations with myself at all times. That was a form of a habit that I had that was detrimental to myself. It wasn't serving me. And I decided to change that habit. And when I came to that decision to change the habit of how I spoke to myself, how I viewed myself, it allowed me to discover gifts inside of me that are now able to impact the world. And I want to be able to share that with you. And my hope and my prayer for you today is that you take on a new habit this year, this week, every day, of take on a new habit of speaking life into your own self, reading something positive, um, reading, uh, watching what you see on TV, watching what kind of music you listen to, right? Those are all habits that will form, whether it's a good habit or a bad habit, the word habit is not good or bad. It just is a habit. So what you really want to focus on is what are you doing daily? right? What are you doing daily to encourage yourself? What are you doing daily to stop the negative talk to yourself, right? And make, the best thing that I can say is make it a habit to be aware. Make it a habit of the awareness of when you're speaking to yourself in a certain way. You tell yourself, no, this conversation that I'm having within myself, it doesn't give me power. It doesn't make me feel good. So therefore, I'm going to dismiss it and it's not going to be allowed. And then you go on to saying things that are going to give you motivations to yourself. Do you know that in the Bible, David encouraged himself when people were discouraging him and people who believed in him, who, who put him on a pedestal, were now turning their backs on him. He encouraged himself. And I want to give you that gift that you can encourage yourself. You really do not need a motivational video or a motivational person or a mentor to do the things that you can already do for yourself. Yes, those things help. Absolutely. Um, I listen to motivational uh, personal development videos. I have many mentors. Yes, it helps. But one thing that my mentors taught me was that 
they cannot do the heavy lifting for me. So uh, you can motivate someone till the cows come home. But as you know, here in Thanks Form, we don't, we don't really talk too much about motivation because for me, it's about transformation. See, when you're transformed and you're, you're transformed, first of all, for the, by the renewal of your mind, then you can be able to be all the things that you truly were made to be. Then when you discover the gifts inside of you, then you can really become someone who can impact the world, right? But there's a couple of keys to discovering your God-given purpose, right? The reason why we were put on this earth and what it is that's inside of us and how we are able to discover that. It's funny because a lot of times we look externally, right? We look on the outside, we try to read books, um, we, we look for movies, videos, like anything that, that can help us from the outside in. And really the magic happens is when you discover your own gifts on the inside. That's when the magic happens. So, you know, start by asking the most difficult questions we don't ask ourselves enough questions. We wait for people to tell us and their opinions on us. They give us, then we say, okay, well, maybe that's true. No. Who are you and why are you here? Right? That's the question. Learn, le learn to recognize God's voice. Do you know, do you know that God will talk to you directly if you just listen? Like if you could, if you continuously get on your face and just ask God for things and pray and speak, you're not going to hear anything. But if you take the time, he will blow your mind. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty cool when you hear his voice. And I'm not talking about, you know, you're going to hear a, a voice uh, talk to you. No, when you feel it in your spirit and um, you, God speaks to you through scripture and he gives you a word and you go into the Bible and you personalize that word, you put your name on it, right? And you say, wow, that's me, right? Recognize the voice of God on your life. And then number two, develop your skills and your strengths. This one here it might surprise you because you may be so, so used to beating yourself up or looking at the negative things that you might have experienced that you don't even dare to look inside yourself to develop your skills and strengths that you already have. There is a skill, there is a strength, there is something inside of you. There's many things, but even if it's just one, I want you to hold on to that and learn to develop it. I see, uh, my pastor always says, gifts and talents don't move me. And it's because gifts and talents mean nothing if you don't develop them. So when you develop your skills and when you develop, when you develop your assets that you have within your strengths that you have within inside of you, then you can begin to work with them, right? If you work on your own personal growth and you develop the gifts that God has given you, little by little, you will manifest them. Right. So then after you discover them and you develop your skills and you develop your strengths, then you can put them to use. Right. So that's number two. And then number three. <laughs> hey, I'm going to take a sip of tea for this one. Mm. Get out of God's way. I know y'all don't like to hear that. <laughs> I know you don't like to hear that, but it's the truth. I'm sure. I'm sure that if I would have gotten out of God's way, maybe eight years ago, <laughs> it would have been a whole new, a whole, a whole different story. But you know what? I thank God for the process. You know, getting out of God's way means that you don't fight the process. You don't try to hurry up and become a millionaire overnight. You got to put your time in. You don't try to crawl before you walk because it just doesn't work that way. And once you really surrender, that is where the power is. The power is in surrendering because see, if you look back on your life and you start discovering the gifts that you have on the inside, you discover that you've been who you were created to be since day one. You look back on your life, on what you've done when you was a child, what kind of dreams, what kind of uh, things you like to play with, what kind of hobbies you had. 
all the jobs you've had in the past and you start looking at a pattern of your life and you start seeing that this gift has been inside of you trying to show up in every aspect of your life. But a lot of times we get in our own way and we get in God's way and then he cannot fully help us develop because we don't want to be developed. We don't want to be trained. We just want to go on. I'm talented. I'm anointed. I'm, I'm gifted and you want to run with that. But even the most gifted, talented people, I'm talking about people who are singers, actors, right? No, they have a natural gift, a natural talent, but that does not mean that they do not have to develop their talent. And then when they do, as you see, even some actors that we can look upon today, that 20 years ago, when they first started, they must have started on their talent and their gift and someone gave them a shot, right? But they had to prepare and develop themselves. And if you see them today, they are a better actor, a better actress, a better writer, more advanced because they've been developing themselves. And we cannot fight that process. And it's the most beautiful process. I want to tell you that the best part of my life has been these past two years where I have been training and developing my gift, where I have been training and developing everything that's inside of me in order to be able to put, bring it forth. I declare this year, 2021, is the year of bringing forth. I declare that this year you will birth everything that has been inside of you. I declare no more, no more stillborn, no more abortion on your life, on your ministry, on your your, on your business, everything that is inside of you is about to be birthed. And I want you to prepare yourself for this upcoming year to birth out everything that's already inside of you. And we just got to take a look at these things and pursue them, right? So number four, we're going to pursue God until you know, like you know that you know that you know it, right? You got to pursue, you pursue it. You pursue it like you know that you know that you know it until it's engraved inside of you, until your neural pathway is embedded that you know who you are. Therefore, when you know who you are, guess what happens? When you know who you are, then you know who you're not. And you will never, ever allow anyone to morph you into what they want you to be because you know who you are and you pursue that. And no matter how many people tell you to go left or go right, you stand firm because you know who you are. You are no longer going to be someone's play toy in clay because you're being molded because you're pursuing God and you're pursuing, you can't go wrong when you pursue your God given talents. You cannot go wrong when you decide to partner up with God and allow him to take you on the journey to the process of your progress. You cannot go wrong when you make the decision to recondition your mind in order to reposition your life. It doesn't happen without one without the other. You cannot reposition yourself in anywhere in life unless you start reconditioning your mind in anything, in the secular world, in the spiritual world, in as a mom, as a wife, as anything, as a leader. You first have to recondition your mind. Why do you think that they give the time to a president when he's elected new president and the other president still has time? Because the new president, guess what? They got to recondition their mind. They got to get put up to speed. They got to develop themselves into taking this new position. So in order for you to reposition your life and reposition yourself for the new year up and coming to have success, my God, you have to. It's a must. It's a prerequisite to recondition your mind. Without that, we cannot go anywhere. You cannot step into a new year with an old mindset. You cannot step into a new career with old mindset habits. The new habits, the new habits have to come alongside with you in your process. And, and a lot of times we think that we have to be a finished product. And no, I wanna ask you a question. If you have you had to be a finished product in order to come out, then how is it that Apple phones and, and, and Samsung phones sometimes remember that time that Samsung came out with the phone and it caught on fire and, and it wasn't a finished product, right? They had to recall it, fix it, and then launch it again. Okay, and do you know that every so often we get updates on our phone that we have to update our software? 
okay? So we have to learn how to be a work in progress and not fight the process that it takes in order for us to be fully developed. It, it, it doesn't matter how long it takes. What, what matters is that you have the awareness. Hi, Lauren. <laughs> you have the awareness of where you want to go, right? Where you want to grow to. When you Once you have the awareness, that's it. You're aware, you're discovering, you're unpacking, you're training, you're developing yourself. And you're not in a rush to try to get somewhere. When you try to rush to try to get somewhere, you're going to fall behind in picking up knowledge and understanding, right? So the habits that we form have to be habits that serve us so that we can be able to move forward in our God-given purpose, right? So what's, what's to come next? <laughs> Begin your journey. That's it. Just begin the journey on your healing, on your soul restoration, on your understanding, on your thoughts, on the habits, on the action steps that we're going to take one foot in front of the other, right? One action leads to another action on our nutrition, on how we're going to um, give our body what it needs to be more alert, to be more focused, to be more energized. How are we going to take on the knowledge? Are we just going to get knowledge and that's it? Or are we going to really recreate and have the knowledge become understanding so that then it becomes wisdom that's imparted, imparted into you? That means that no one can take it away from you, right? And the spirituality, the connection, the discernment. Listen, that's the sixth sense. There's a sixth step, but it's also the sixth sense. When you have that, that the creator whispering and, and giving you steps and giving you nuggets, giving you direction, instructions, you cannot go wrong. And if you try to take God out of the equation, it's not going to work, at least not over here where I'm at. I've seen the manifestation in my life come so fast. When I got out of God's way, when I was vulnerable, when I surrendered all and I aligned myself with what God see with what God wants from my life is totally different from what I wanted from my life. What I wanted was to be a network marketer and wanting to be in the in the marketing industry in the business world. Well, God said, Hey, that's nice and dandy, but I need you to flip the switch because my people who want to be successful, have their sights on only money and being successful in the secular world. And they don't realize that being successful in me is their true success because I created them to be. So if the creator created you to be something, no matter how much you fight it, okay, and you try to fight that process or you try to go left when the creator is telling you to go right, you're just going to detour like the Israelites, 40 years going around the same mountain, fighting the same mindsets, not being able to be free and whole and complete. And I don't know about you. I don't know what's going on with you over there, but I know that there is nothing, nothing better to feel whole and complete whether it's that you have the finances there are people who are super duper rich and have no peace there are people who have no money and have peace and let me tell you something the peace that surpasses all understanding the love and compassion that is a trump card right there no money can buy it no but no money can can comfort you when you are in distress it can't buy peace of mind. It cannot buy self-worth. Sure, we can cover things up with buying new eyelashes or maybe getting a new weave or maybe getting a new house or maybe getting some, some, <laughs> some kind of new ride. But in reality, when you go home and look at that mirror, you don't feel whole and complete. See, there's something about when you are whole and complete and you can look at yourself in the mirror and feel satisfaction with who you are versus who you are not. What I mean by that is I can take a look at the mirror right now and I am in love with the person that I am becoming. I have not yet arrived by any means, but I thank God that I'm not who I used to be. And I thank God that I unbecame everything that the world told me that I was in my mind. My mind was where I was trapped. 
the thoughts that I had in my mind, the conversations that I would engage with myself in my mind had me trapped that I was not able to make better habits for myself. I wasn't able to take any action. I was paralyzed. I wasn't able to have any good nutrition in my life because I didn't even feel myself worthy of it, right? And the knowledge, I, to me, it was like I was incapable of learning anything. Yes, me. And in spirituality, I felt that God didn't love me, that he forgot me. Once I renewed my mindset, once I took grab of thanks, that's why I'm so passionate about thanks form. And um, my pastor even asked me today again, he goes, what do you want to teach the people? What is it that you want to offer them? And I said, pastor, I can't offer them anything, anything until they have a renewal of their mind. Think about it. If we can, if we want to um, have better finances. If we want to lose weight and feel healthy and exercise and eat better, and we want to have uh, more peace of mind and a healthier relationship with our spouses, with our families, we cannot do any of that without renewing our mind. I'm sorry to say, that's why I stand for transformation. That's why I stand behind what God is doing in my life. And I thank God he gave me thanks for him because God gave that to me. When he made me realize, for instance, nothing's working until you renewed your mind and I can hear it in other people's conversations when I speak with people with my coaching clients I can hear their pain I know exactly where they're coming from but best of all I know exactly how to take them out of that awareness and not doing it for them what I love about coaching is that I'm able to bring that awareness to the specific individual and let them uncover their own blind spots. I'm just there to coach them through it. And I, I get the best prize I get is to watch, watch the transformation, watch the breakthrough. Like I really see the glass shattering when they come through on the other side. And that is something that doesn't go away. And they are continuing to use these tools to access new breakthroughs every single day. And that's what my encouragement encouragement is for you today. Please discover the gift inside of you because the world needs to be impacted by what you have. If I did not discover the gifts I had inside of me, if I did not renew my mind, if I didn't change my thoughts, my habits, my actions, my nutrition, my knowledge, and my spirituality, I would not be who I am today. Gifting you with this as well right? I wouldn't have been able to lose 120 pounds if I didn't change my nutrition or my action or my thoughts. It all is together. You cannot have one without the other. So I implore you, whatever it is that you want to do in 2021, whether it's a new career, whether it's working from home, whether it's taking on your health journey, whether it's saving money, repairing your credit, buying a new house, whatever it is, you don't stand a chance unless you renew your mind and partner up with God and allow yourself to go through the process and don't fight the process and enjoy every single step of the way so that you do not leave behind any nuggets that you're going to have to go back and pick up, right? Slow and steady, pick it up. Don't be in a race with no one. No one's got, don't compare your chapter one to someone's chapter 21, okay? Enjoy your own process and really engage, engage with your inner self, engage with looking and asking yourself those questions that may be difficult to hear, but it's necessary. When you look in the mirror, even if it's 30 seconds a day and you ask yourself, okay, ask yourself those questions. Where am I at in life right now? Is it where I want to be? Is it where I was created to be? And if not, that's okay. It's not about beating yourself up. It's about taking the time to assess and also reflect, reflect on who you have been, the good, the things that you've learned so far this last year, right? What gifts do you have inside that you have yet to discover? Because the world needs you. The world needs each and every one of us. We are we are uniquely extraordinary human beings. Not no, there's never gonna be another Francisca. There's never gonna be another Lauren. There's never gonna be another Lisa. There's never gonna be another George. Never gonna be. They may have your same name, but they will never have the same fingerprints. And what God has embedded in you for you to bring forth, no one else can do it. So you know what? 
I hate to tell you, but it's kind of your responsibility. Your potential is waiting for you to unleash it, but you have been irresponsible because you haven't tended to it. You haven't discovered it. You haven't achieved it. You haven't trained for it. You haven't developed it. You haven't even asked, right? So now, up and coming to the new year, let's discover it. Let's get it inside to the deepest roots and let's take it and bring it forth. Let's birth it. Let's make 2021 the year of bringing forth your dreams, your true potential. What is truly inside of you that deserves? You, des you deserve to break free. You deserve to break through because the world is waiting. And you do not want to take all of your potential to the grave with you. We want to die like Paul, empty. Empty and knowing that we ran a good race. Knowing that the creator can say, you know what? You did a great job. Thank you for being responsible with what I put inside of you. Because we are seeds. And we have people watering us. We have people who try to cover us up, right? We have people who, who, who don't believe. But it doesn't matter. What matters is what the creator put inside of you. You think Apple cares about my personal opinion about their phone? No. The creator of Apple made it to do something uniquely, extraordinary, different from Samsung. So my opinion or anyone's opinion of Apple or Samsung doesn't matter because the creator of that created it and it's going to manifest what the creator said it's going to be. So if that's true for something secular as a phone, <laughs> I love you too, Lauren. Why isn't it true for our creator that created us? He made us with a purpose. There is an audience out there that is specific to you that is waiting for you to train and develop yourself to have personal and professional growth so that you can be able to bring forth, so that you can be a force to be reckoned with, so that you can be unleashed, so that you can make things happen that weren't going to happen anyway because if you don't pull out your full potential, things are not going to happen in this world. They are waiting for you so that they can manifest. And that is my time for it today. I, I, I just really, really had to come on here and let you know before the new year drops. I don't want you to go into the new year with the same mentality. And, and, and if you have hopes and dreams and goals, I really want to let you know that it first starts with the renewal of your mind. Your mind can go so much further if you just allow yourself to be renewed to be reconditioned so that you can be repositioned, to go through the process so that you can see the progress because you deserve it. You don't want to be frustrated no more. You don't want to be confused no more because that's not of God. Confusion is not, is not of God. Frustration is only reason you're frustrated. Do you want to know the truth why you're frustrated? It's because your potential has not come out. And you're frustrated because you know your purpose because that was one thing with me. I knew my purpose, but I didn't know how to be trained and developed in the process. And I just wanted to just be. But in order to be, you have to unbecome things and old habits and old thinking patterns that do not serve you for the new person, the new level that you're going growing into. Allow yourself to be coached. Uh, if I would have done this coaching uh, eight years ago, oh my gosh, it, it has made a world of difference in my life to partner up with mentors, partner up with people who really love and want the best for me. And they really are in the work of helping people progress every single day, giving people hope, giving people knowledge and understanding. That is what I'm about. So if you are one person who really is, you know what, this year I have goals, I, I have a plan, but I don't really know and I'm frustrated and I want to start becoming trained and developed in my personal and my professional growth and development. I really want that. I want you to reach out to me via message. You can, you can private message me or you can comment on the comments and let me know. I do have a 
coaching one-on-one -on -one small groups that I do for six sessions. I'm starting them. Um, I already started one group. I have another group coming on and I'm only offering that for the end of this year for $97. Usually starting next year, it's going to be $197 and you get six sessions, which is one hour in a small group. I don't take more than four people in a group so that everyone is able to get that one-on-one -on -one and we'll be able to discuss things that matter to you and what areas in your life that you that you need the whole transformation in your thoughts we're going to go over the whole acronym thoughts habits action nutrition knowledge and spirituality and then it's going to be personalized to you and you get that one-on-one -on -one time with me as well you get my coaching throughout what it is that you want to work with you will get to choose what you want to work on and i'm just going to be there to guide you with everything that I have grown to be and I continue every day to get trained and developed so it's like ongoing and I just want to bring you to where you feel comfortable to let go and bring forth and be unleashed and live your full potential so that is my gift to you so it's $97 for six sessions so that's going to be one hour a week you're going to never ever regret it and if you needed some reassurance. I just want to let you know that it's a money back guaranteed. If you're not thanks formed by the end of the six sessions, you get your money back because really my biggest pay is to see you thanks formed. I love you guys. Shalom.